everyone, today I have the new iPhone 13 Pro Max and I want to share with you my review of this camera from the perspective of a pro photographer. So we're going to be testing out both photo and video and I have heaps and heaps of examples to share with you guys today. The first thing we're going to do is head to the studio for our portrait photography session and then we're going to come back outside to test out everything else. Let's go. So we're at the studio now and we're going to shoot against this backdrop which I spent a little bit of time setting up so we have some texture and something interesting to look at in the background. The first thing we're going to do is start off with the standard camera and then make our way through all the cameras. So since I am a photographer, I am going to be shooting some straight out of the camera photos for you guys to look at, but I am also going to be shooting in RAW, just so I have those files with that extra information to be able to edit and get the most out of those photos. But I'll show you guys examples of both. So we're going to take some photos just straight out of the camera to see what the colors and the lighting looks like. I'm not going to press the screen at all, so I'm going to let the iPhone do all the work when it comes to focusing and getting the experience. It actually looks really good. It's nice and like balanced. It's awesome. You can move around a little bit if you want. Yeah, I love smiling photos by the way. So. <laughs> And now I'll switch the camera over to RAW and we'll do the same thing where I'll just take some photos without tapping the screen or anything to see what it does. But I feel like it's got pretty good exposure and it's got a little focus square over Sonali's face. So I think it's doing a good job on its own. So we're going to take some more photos with the standard camera, but this time I'm going to bring up my exposure compensation and bring it down a little bit just so the natural light is not overpowering the portrait and we're going to have the continuous light do most of the work to light up Sonali's face. Something that I really love with this iPhone Pro Max is that I am screen recording while I'm taking raw photos on this camera and I can literally press the shutter so many times and it doesn't skip a beat. Like it just takes so many photos and it doesn't need to load or wait for anything. Let's do like a wide angle shot here because I think it looks kind of cool that you can see all the stands and like yeah. the whole room and stuff with the wide angle camera. So we'll try some of that. So for this one, you can go pretty exaggerated, like stretch your legs out and like kind of stretch around. Yeah, that looks so cool. Love that. You could even try if you put it like above. Yeah, like that, that's awesome. Do you wanna try kick your this foot up and towards me a little? So far, I'm loving the photos from the 13 Pro. They look super crisp and the colors look true to life as well. I prefer what the raw photos look like. The lighting is more balanced overall and they have a touch more sharpness and detail to them. But in my opinion, the JPEG straight out of the camera photos look really great as well. So the next thing we're gonna do is shoot some photos at three times zoom. So these are gonna be some very beautiful close-ups and we'll see the quality of these images. Oh, that's so pretty with like all the bruises. I love it. Perfect. And can we also try one over the shoulder as well? So I'll turn off raw and get some straight out of the camera. Yeah, yeah, like towards the light is good. Nice, and then maybe one kind of glancing over your shoulder out the window. Yeah, yeah, that looks nice. And then just look at me there with your eyes. I'm really impressed with the portrait lens. You can see so much detail in these photos, especially in the raw file. In the JPEG, it looks slightly over sharpened. I wish it looked more like the raw. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. So we're going to go to five times zoom and I'll get a couple of shots and we'll see the quality of those. So let's do nine times zoom next. I'm going to have to roll back. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, it's so shaky. Um, let me, if I do that, I can kind of stabilize my hand a little bit. Let's do the maximum 15 times zoom. Indoors and for portraits, you can see the sharpness and detail really degrade at 15 times zoom, which is expected as it is digital zoom. The next thing I want to test out is portrait mode and we're going to start off with three times zoom. Could you bring the chair forward? I think you need to be a little bit further away from them for it to work. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm gonna go to one time, so this is just like a normal zoom. Usually, I don't like using portrait mode in phones, but I think there have been some improvements this time. From these photos, I prefer the quality from the one time zoom lens. I'm gonna get some more portrait photos just here by the window. Don't know about that hand, maybe in your back pocket. Yeah, and then I'll go to three time zoom as well. 
So we're gonna move here where we shot the portrait photos to do some video tests with the back camera. The first thing I'm gonna do is shoot in 4K 25p. And I'm gonna walk around a little bit just to see how the image stabilization is in camera. So for these ones, I think it would be cool if you kind of sway your arms, you can pace a little bit, you can like look out the window. Now let's switch it to 4K 60p, which we can slow down to 30p if we want, and we'll do the same thing again. Next up we have 4K 60p wide angle front camera. And then the last one we're gonna do is 4K 60p and three times zoom. The next video we have is cinematic. I find that the cinematic mode works better on people. It looks really great on Sonali, but on the rose, you can really see the outline. You can also adjust the amount of depth of field in post, as you can see that I've done with this clip. I also captured some slow-mo footage. This clip is in 120p. Slow-mo is still only available in 1080p like the 12 Pro, and this is super slow-mo at 240p. We're back outside now and I wanna test out the selfie camera with both photo and video. So in photo mode, we have just the standard camera and then we also have the wide angle selfie camera. So I'll take two shots here and I'll put them up on the screen for you. Now we're gonna test out the selfie video camera. First up, we have 4K 25p and as I pan the camera around, you can see the footage is quite choppy. This is because it's a pretty bright day so the shutter speed is fast, which is what's making it look so choppy. Next we have 4K 60p and this looks a lot smoother as I pan it around. Got quite a decent lens flare happening there from the sun. It's got a little ring around it. And I also wanna see how quickly the dynamic range changes as I put it up to the sky. <laughs> okay, so it takes a, like a split second to bring the exposure back on my face, but I think it does a pretty good job. And of course, I also wanna test out image stabilization. So I'm gonna do a little walking shot and we'll see how stable the footage looks. The floor is quite bumpy, so. We'll see how well that turns out. Something else we can do is also use cinematic video in the selfie video mode as well. So I'm just gonna start recording here and you can see how the background is much more blurry now. We have some really nice bokeh. You can see the outline is a little bit messy around my hair there. You can tell it is artificial bokeh, but it's good on this side, not so good on this side. And then I'm gonna get Dan there in the background and I'm gonna tap on him to focus on him instead. Does a pretty good job actually. And it's really fast, shifting focus between both of us. <laughs> By the way, if you wanted to download a little sample gallery of some photos taken on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I'll leave a link in the description to my blog where you can find that download link of images. Next, I wanna check out night mode. And for this shot, we're gonna be back at home and shooting against this black backdrop here. I've set up a little light that's pointing towards the backdrop and it's going to reflect a little bit on this white door here and we'll have some nice color on Dan's face, who is our model for these shots, by the way. Okay everyone, we are up to the last test, which is astrophotography, and I wanna see if there's been any improvement since the iPhone 12 Pro. I have the Google Pixel 5 with me today, so we'll be taking the same photo on both phones to be able to compare them. As you can see, I'm going to be using the, both phones on a tripod to keep them as still as possible. And with the iPhone, I've got it set to the longest exposure possible, which is 30 seconds. I am also going to be using both phones in RAW just to make sure we have as much information in the files as possible so I can bring the best out of each file in the editing. Wow, okay, they have definitely improved Astro on the 13 Pro. I love how these turned out. The comparison to the Pixel 5 is now so similar. The iPhone shot is still slightly blurry with some motion blur though, and all the Astro shots I took on the iPhone look like this. The Pixel 5 on the other hand, all the photos were very sharp. So that is all I have for my review on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'd love to know what you guys thought down in the comments below, and let me know if you end up downloading the sample gallery as well and what you think of that. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you all next time. Bye.